Hello guys, who are you? David DeFranco here from DavidDeFranco.com with a very exciting unboxing of the Panasonic HCWX 970 4K twin camera camcorder with a ton of features of which I'll go over in a bit. But first, I just want to express how big of a deal this is. Going back to January, I first discovered this camcorder at CES 2015 in beautiful Las Vegas. Oh my god. Guys, I want this so bad. Look, twin cameras. So look, twist that around. You get both video feeds at the same time. And like Chris said, this is perfect for me since I'm always flipping the camera around and showing, you know. You can always see your reaction without having to yeah. the camera around. This is technically like a built-in B-roll. That is cool. Awesome. I'd say it's a sale. Buy it. And I was just floored. I cannot believe there was actually a camcorder available with twin cameras. So I was instantly hooked on getting more information on this. So I came back home to here in New Jersey, did some research, patiently waited, and now here it is, $1,000 later, my new camcorder for at least the next few years because my last camcorder, the Panasonic HTC SD600K, I got that thing I think in maybe 2011, 2012? I'm pretty sure 2011. Either way, it's been a while and it has served me well, but it's clearly not up to my standards anymore. Hence my buying this. Now there is one very important thing to keep in mind. This is my first 4K camcorder ever. So it is my first official step into the world of 4K, which yes, that means I will soon be buying a 4K TV. And by soon, might not be until Christmas, I don't know. But just please keep this in mind, not all future videos will be in 4K because my average weekend vlog is well over one hour long. And I cannot imagine what the file size would be like with a video of that length in 4K resolution. But that's not to say my video quality is not going to improve because my video quality in general is going to be insanely crisp compared to what I've been putting out on my Panasonic, my old Panasonic, and my GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. Noisy chair. All right, enough babbling. Let's open this and I'll talk about the features that interest me most. So yes, twin cameras. This basically means that um, you will now have a picture-in-picture -picture view whenever I decide to use it. So basically expect the main view. For instance, let's use our camping videos as an example. When my family and I go camping, you'll see the primary view, as you see right now. And well, for example, I could be showing the lake, but in the picture-in-picture -picture view, any corner that I desire could be my face, and that is made possible by the twin camera design. So that's why I'm so excited about this. But of course, not all videos are gonna use that feature, uh, but still, it's an awesome, awesome bonus. So here's the camcorder itself. Let's save the best for last. I do get a lens hood. I've never owned a lens hood before, so I'm very excited about this for two reasons. Number one, it can help with um, lens flare and all that stuff. But two, it just makes me look more professional. This is gonna be really nice using it in public. So very nice, like a Dickamar. My Seaside Heights fans know exactly what I'm talking about. So very cool. We also get a manual but I'll probably not be reading this because I prefer to learn products on my own. You get a USB cable for transferring your data, which I will not be using, so I'm just gonna keep this in the plastic because I prefer to use one of my many SD card adapters right here on my seven port hub. You also get another USB cable, but one that hooks into the camera power adapter. I'm not totally sure, but hey, the more cables the better, right? Speaking of cables, we're still going. This looks like an HDMI cable for HDMI out. Included power adapter. This I will be using. Man, they give you a lot of stuff. Something fell out of here. Oh, the battery. Oh, wow. Much, much different size battery than my current battery. Holy crap. Look at this. Old battery. New battery. 
so much smaller. And the model number is VWVBT190. So a lot thinner in terms of width. The height is about the same. And I've heard on um, Amazon that the battery life's not the greatest, but I will be buying an extra battery or two, as I did with my Panasonic. I currently use two batteries on here. And my T4i, which I'm recording with right now, I use three batteries. But right now I'm hooked up to power, which is awesome. So wow, the battery is definitely a lot smaller than I was expecting. And yes, for my new viewers out there, I do talk a lot. This is a big deal, so it's something I wanna look back on. And this is my shoe adapter. Yes, another huge benefit about the Panasonic HCWX970 over my Panasonic HCC SD600K is the fact that I can use external adapters such as microphones, lighting, anything that applies because that's something I cannot do on my current Panasonic. All right, enough of the babbling, David. Let's open this. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> wow. It's definitely a little bigger than my Panasonic HDC SD600, Panasonic HDC SD600K, but actually not that much bigger because if you notice, the battery protrudes on the HDC SD600K, but on the HCWX970, the battery's kind of built into the camera. So in a way, the length is very, very similar. That is quite nice. All right, on the front here, we have a light and built-in 5.1 surround sound microphone. Yes, you heard me correctly. You can now watch my vlogs and beautiful 5.1 surround sound. I'm very, very interested to see how that works out. This has optical image stabilization. I put an emphasis on optical because that's the best route to take. Now opening the screen, definitely a bigger screen than my current Panasonic. Yeah, look at that, wow. Much, much wider. And on the left side here, we have what makes this camera incredibly unique, a built-in camera. Very, very nice. This is going to be so much fun to play around with. Here's the shoe adapter release. We also have HDMI out, USB, AV, microphone, a bunch of buttons of which I'll explore, including the power button and Wi-Fi, the record button back here, the shutter button for taking pictures, which I'll probably never use. I never really use that feature in my current Panasonic. We have a 25 times optical zoom, camera function wheel down here, which I'll obviously have to explore and see what that does. And I believe this has night vision. And if it does, that's pretty incredible, guys. Night vision. Can you say camping vlogs in the dark? Guys, I'm telling you, this camera just screams my name. Like, David, buy me. All right, but enough joking aside. Oh, wow. The power connector, it's a sliding door. That's definitely a nice touch. Here's the zoom toggle up top. This is a very raw unboxing. Of course, I'll be talking about this camera much more in depth in future videos. Uh, we have a built-in windshield, headphones over here for monitoring audio, which again is something my current Panasonic does not have. You guys gotta understand, this camera basically improves in every single area of which my current Panasonic is lacking. Again, 5.1 surround, 4K video, night vision, I believe. Just overall better video quality, shoe adapter, Built-in Wi-Fi, which I won't really be using, but hey, it's there. So guys, there you go. My very rough unboxing of the Panasonic. You know what? I'll just boot this myself after the video. Of the Panasonic WX, no, Panasonic HCWX970. Yes, I have another model number to memorize. But of course, expect many videos on this in the future, including a demo reel of what this is capable of a comparison video of this Panasonic versus my old Panasonic. And what else? Oh, a 4K demo reel just showing flowers, the occasional shot of Maui, like a close-up of, of his face, as well as a weekend vlog dedicated to just this camcorder alone. It's going to be incredible. So there you have it. I'm not gonna boot this thing up until after the unboxing because I just wanna take my time and learn it myself uh, without the pressure of, you know, taking up too much time of your day because I've already talked enough. But guys, thank you so much for watching. 
you made this possible, especially because of my Patreon campaign. This is my next major step in my career as a content creator. And I could not be more excited. This is a long time coming and I am very, very excited about the future. Expect a ton of coverage. So I will finally let you go. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.